Choosing between Ahrefs and Sunrus can feel like a huge decision for your SEO agency. These are two giants in the industry and both offer plenty of features to help you scale. But how do you know which tool is right for your agency? In this video, I will break down the key differences including data accuracy, usability, and the real value each one brings to your business. Stick around and by the end you will have a clear winner for your SEO needs since I tried both of them. Let the battle commence. If we look at verified boards reported by Cloudflare, Ahrefs rank number one for the category of search engine optimization. All other popular boards like Data for SEO, SEMrush Bot, and Moz rank way below than that. Now, what does this mean for your agency? This ultimately means it's the most active crawler in the SEO industry and seriously powered by big data. Big data, machine learning, blockchain, artificial intelligence. Let me share some numbers. Every minute, Ahrefs crawls 5 million pages. Total content index size is 15.9 billion pages as of today. When it comes to keywords data, Ahrefs has a massive index of 28.7 billion keywords across 217 locations. This level of detail allows you to pull hyper-specific data for your clients, no matter where they operate. As for external backlinks history, it has 35 trillion records. If we talk about its backlink analysis capabilities, Ahrefs wins the game any day, any time. I'll talk more about it later in this video. On the other hand, if you look at SEMrush, as per the latest stats on their official website, they have over 26 billion keywords indexed across 142 geos only. <laughs> HFs, as mentioned earlier, covers 217 locations. I understand we may not need data across all locations, but it shows how fast HF crawlers work in terms of finding newly indexed keywords. As for backlinks, SEMrush has a database of over 43 trillion links, which is more than HFs. However, it still can be the range of features Ahrefs provides in backlink analysis. For example, if we look at PC Gamer's backlinks, Samrush shows around 15.3 million while Ahrefs displays 5.3 million. The point here is that Samrush tends to show more spammy or irrelevant links in its database while Ahrefs focuses on showing fewer but more accurate links. Some of these poor quality links can be filtered out and I have covered that process in detail in my backlink audit video. Go check it out. But when you compare both tools with GSC external links report, the number of indexed links is actually lower than what either tool reports. The beauty of Samrush where it stands out is its ability to handle client-focused projects efficiently. Though Ahrefs does that too, but Samrush's seamless experience to add your client project make it very easy to audit the client's website. One of my favorite things about its audit feature is why and how to fix it section for each issue. For example, if there are any broken links, it will tell you exactly where they are and how you can fix them in plain English. While Ahrefs audit report seems like a typical knowledge report from a software, and it's not as detailed as SEMrush one. Also, if you are managing SEO for local businesses, it will also track local rankings without having you to use any external software for it. Though the next point is not SEO related, but it impacts on how you use a specific software, that is visual. Ahrefs focuses more on displaying you numbers, doesn't matter if you are researching for keywords, analyzing backlinks, or finding content ideas. While SEMrush focuses more on visuals and graphs. There are several features that SEMrush offers beyond what Ahrefs provides, and one key feature is PPC Advertising Insights. If your agency manages Google Ads, you can use Samrush to monitor competitors' ad budgets, copy, and landing page performance. In short, Samrush is a digital marketing suite, not just an SEO tool. But Ahrefs is for businesses focusing core on SEO part. Now, let's get into side-by-side -side comparison of Ahrefs and Samrush, starting with keywords data. Whenever working on a fresh website or building a content map for a new category or silo, I start with the seed keyword. For that seed, we need a set of more related keywords so we can further grow relevant ones into a silo. HR works really well in that case. All you need to do is enter the seed keyword, select the target location for which you need the data and hit enter. That's it. It will show you all possible keywords that you can target while going after the seed you select. Samrush does that too but not as efficiently as href, especially the phrase match capabilities of href. Since when you are working on semantics, you want to get the possible synonyms to target in the same content rather than creating a separate page or pause. The ease of applying the filters to find the desired set of keywords is so smooth with href. Samrush is not really good with filters as well. And let me share my favorite feature in href for keywords. You can find the keywords where low DR websites are ranking. Let's say you got a DR of 40 for your website and you want to go after the keywords where low DR 20 to 40 sites are getting traffic on keywords that you can easily target and rank without backlinks. It's so easy to find them using href. 
but href is deeply flawed with two of its metrics when it comes to keywords number one is keyword difficulty and search volume samrisk has its metric of defining the keywords as easy difficult and hard but i personally don't care about difficulty metric when we are working on covering the content from every angle that is relevant to the target audience we want to reach one thing that i really like about samrisk is it's the division of keywords and labeling their intent as navigational informational commercial and transactional this comes handy when we are working on e-commerce store seo you can select the information one for blogs and transactional one for category optimization next we have traffic data i asked this from multiple seos while at conference especially what tools they use in their stack but after doing a lot of research on these two tools specifically honestly both are not good for traffic data hrefs tends to underestimate the traffic while semrish often shows traffic figures higher than the actual numbers on the other hand similar web reports significantly inflated traffic estimates for instance when we look at traffic numbers of this website the organic traffic reported in google analytics is 4.1k hf shows this as 3.1k and semrish reported as 7.4k and similar web displays an even higher number of 12.1k i intentionally added similar web into the comparison because most high level seos use it to estimate the traffic now comes one of the deciding factors for anything in business pricing in terms of the features offered compared to the pricing hrefs wins again it was not the case a few months ago until hrefs removed the credit limit you can compare it in a way that for 249 dollars monthly semrish allows 15 projects and 1500 keywords to try while hrefs for the same price allows you 20 projects and 2000 keywords to try but if we talk about the value other than seo semrish would be better if you are looking for insights on ppc and social media along with seo on the other hand one of the key differentiators in pricing between both tools is free trial hrefs used to give paid trials but not anymore but semrish still does that and they offer free trial now the last thing in our side by side comparison is backlinks data as i said earlier though semrish has more data for external links but if we talk about the ease of use and data required while you are analyzing backlinks for any website i personally prefer hrefs that's the reason i explained all examples through hrefs in my link building series for link building agencies you can quickly analyze in what dr ranges the competitor has got links let's say dr 20 to 30 31 to 50 and then 50 to 70 and further you can see how many links you would need in each bucket though dr is the proprietary metric of hrefs but you can't do the same with semrish authority score now if we talk about the freshness of backlink data semrish is very fast as compared to href as evident through this report it takes less than 40 minutes for them to update the database for a newly found backlink before i speak on the next topic in our video there is particularly one feature that i love batch analysis both hrefs and semrush offer this feature so instead of analyzing urls one by one this allows you to input hundreds of urls at once saving huge amount of time though both tools allow you to check 200 urls maximum at once but the difference is in the data that you get in return in href you get insights like keyword index in the href database for the website organic traffic dr referring domain dividing into do follow governmental and links from edu sites linked domain which is helpful to compare with the reference domain number as you can clearly see if it's a guest posting from or not and lastly the total number of backlinks semrush does the same but their report revolves mainly around backlinks such as total number of backlinks domains follow no follow ratio and link types such as text images or frames as I explained the backlink data in semrush is deeply flawed that's why i don't prefer it at all for bulk analysis <laughs> Now that we have compared the tools, let's talk about who should you choose and which one depending on your agency's need. So if your primary focus is SEO, especially if you are managing multiple clients who need detailed backlink analysis and in-depth keyword research, HF is the way to go. It's content gap analysis, backlink gap analysis, finding content ideas using Content Explorer and finding keyword opportunities where lower authority websites are ranking make it the best choice for any SEO agency. Additionally, if you're primarily working with clients targeting international markets or multiple locations, HF's keyword Data across 270 locations is a huge advantage. On the flip side, if your agency handles more than just SEO, such as PPC campaigns, social media strategy, or overall content marketing, Semrish is likely the better. It's more of a complete digital marketing suite, so if you're offering a variety of services to the clients, Semrish will give you everything you need in one place. I've won, but at what cost? 
For example, agency working on local SEO, Samrish's ability to track local rankings is one key feature here. Otherwise, with Ahrefs, you have to use a third-party tool such as Brightlock. Also, Samrish's clear reporting visuals and breakdown of keyword intent also make it easier to manage and explain strategies to the clients. In short, both tools have their own strengths and weaknesses. If your agency is SEO-centric, Ahrefs will serve you well. But if you are looking for a broader digital marketing suite, Samrish is the way to go. In the end, whichever tool you choose, make sure it aligns with the services you offer and helps you deliver the best results for your clients. That's it for this video. I made this video because recently I shared my best SEO tool stack on YouTube and someone suggested they need comparison for these tools. Go ahead and watch that too and let me know in comments if you need more comparison videos and for which tools under these categories. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.